how can you customize the curtain color in PowerPoint? We can draw a rectangle and cover the whole slide with it. Then we can adjust the color of that rectangle. Because the curtain transition is using the previous slide, as the color as the texture of the curtains. So if we customize the slide like this, we can put any color we want inside that rectangle and that will be the color of the curtains. We can take this even further by adding gradient. So gradient will make this way more realistic. So let's put a default gradient first from here, from the gradient selection. But next we need to customize it. So go again to the same menu and click more gradients at the bottom here. And now you will have to add multiple points to the gradient. So just cl click on the gradient multiple times. Add as many as you can. All right. Then try to distribute them. And the trick will be to mix points with different brightness. So what we need to do is we need to have a dark point and then the bright point, dark point, bright point. So it will be a bit like a curtain texture. All right. So let's now readjust the brightness for those points. So we got some kind of curtain like color. All right. So dark and then bright, dark and bright. Don't need to be too precise here. Actually, a bit of random. That will be helpful. Be careful. Some of those points may be very close to each other. So try to distribute them a bit better, like in this case here. All right, and I'm almost ready. The final step will be to, of course, add a transition. But we don't want to add the transition to this slide with color. We need to add the transition to the next slide. So in my case, that's slide number three. So click on slide number three. And then in transition, select curtains over here and take a look. We are using the previous slide, the custom made gradient as the color for this transition. So that's a really easy and effective way. You can even download this template. I will drop the link in the description. So let me just prepare for you two more versions. So I will create a blue and a green version for you as well. As you can see, that's the very same workflow, a color, turn into gradient, then we mix dark and bright colors. And we already got a transition on it. That's a blue version. I'll make one more, and here will be a green version for you. So you can use it straight away. If you are in rush, you don't wanna do it yourself. Just follow the link in the description and download this PowerPoint file for yourself. Thank you for today. See you in the next tutorial.